Paralympian Oscar Pistorius has been taken to the Jose Mampudo Correctional Facility in Pretoria, where he has begun serving his five-year sentence for culpable homicide for the killing of his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp. Judge Tokazila Masipa delivered her judgment at the North Gauteng High Court earlier today. Now, for discharging a firearm at Tasha's restaurant, Pistorius was sentenced to three years in jail, suspended for five. The sentences will run concurrently. And while the MPA says there is an appetite to appeal the sentence, there's no indication from the defence if it intends doing so. A huge media contingent awaited Pistorius' emergence from court. He was taken to Jose Mampuru in a police armoured vehicle. The double amputee is expected to serve his sentence in a hospital wing of the prison, but he's likely to spend much less than five years behind bars. A member of his defence team says he will serve one-sixth of his sentence, which translates to 10 months. Well, Judge Masipa, in delivering her sentence, said the sentence had to be fair and just to society and to the accused. Let's listen to that judgment. Count one. Culpable homicide. The sentence imposed is the maximum imprisonment of five years imposed in terms of Section 2761I of the Criminal Procedure Act, <coughs> number 51 of 1977. Two, on count two, the contravention of Section 120, subsection 3B of the Firearms Control Act, number 60 of 2000, the sentence imposes three years imprisonment, wholly suspended for five years on condition that within the period of suspension, the accused is not found guilty of a crime where there is negligence involving the use of a firearm. Paragraph three, the sentence in count one and the sentence on count through shall run concurrently. As a court, please. As a court, please. You may be seated, Mr. Christorius. In going through the testimonies heard during sentencing, the judge says she was not impressed by the evidence of probation officer Annette Fahir. I found her evidence perfunctory and unhelpful something quite disturbing from someone with 28 years of experience. On the other hand, Mr. Mudise, the acting commissioner of correctional services, impressed me. He came across as a candid and willing witness who wanted to assist this court. He testified that prisons in this country were not perfect, but were progressive and professional. Meanwhile, the National Prosecuting Authority says it's yet to decide whether it will lodge an appeal against Oscar Pistorius' sentence. Considering that we were arguing for a custodial sentence, which in a sense we did get, we are satisfied and we find solace in that fact. But as we have already stated before, that we were disappointed with the conviction on culpable homicide, and what, now that the sentence has been imposed, what is left for us to do is to go and study the law and study all the case law to see if you know, uh, the, it will support us in the event that we, made a we make a decision to appeal the matter. So that's what the prosecution team will be doing from today onwards. Uh, we have 14 days to so indicate whether we're going to appeal the matter or not. But uh, you know, as I said, we, we, we find solace in the fact that uh, you know, it was not a straightforward uh, correctional supervision. Well, just over an hour ago, Oscar Pistorius' uncle Arnold told a media briefing that the family accepted the five-year jail sentence. The court has now handed down judgment and sentence, and we accept the judgment. Oscar will embrace this opportunity to pay, to pay back to society. Well, there's been mixed reaction to the sentence. We are saddened by the sentence, noting that we've been sad anyway with the verdict. Ours today is to come down, call for the national prosecution, 
for an appeal. The ANC Women's League and the Progressive Women's Movement of South Africa will look forward to be friends of the court. You know, it's been a very long journey. This whole court case has been very strenuous and very stressful. I really hope that my reaction, you know, it's, I think the reaction of Riva and her parents and her friends, I hope that they feel that justice has been served. I don't think the sentencing was befitting the crime. I think the conviction and the sentencing should have been higher to the minimum of murder one and minimum of 20 years. He's killed, he's taken somebody's life. Shot three with four times through the door. I still failed to see you in the States. He still fails to see where his life was ever in danger. Where he, where he for his life was threatened to that extent that he had to use that deadly force four times. I mean, that poor girl, what she went through in that, in that toilet, you know, in that small little cubicle. And he was my friend. So, you know, I know you mentioned about my altercation with Oscar. That's not why I'm here. I'm here because I was a friend of hers. And the stand comes have been so humble and so they've held their heads up so high during this whole process. And I just want to commend them on the way they've handled this thing. After 18 months and 47 court days, the trial of Oscar Pistorius, which had local and world media agog, has finally come to a close. But for more from the North Gauteng High Court, Criselda Lewis joins us. Criselda, Oscar Pistorius has arrived at prison ready to serve his sentence, which according to the State Prosecuting Authority may only be a few months actually behind bars. Take us through what was said this morning. Well, certainly, Latasha, adding uh, to what you heard from Judge Togozile Masipa there, she also said that Oscar Pistorius, in her reference to other cases, Oscar Pistorius' circumstances were different in that Oscar Pistorius knew that there was someone behind the door when he fired those shots. And in also reference to another case, she also said that in this case that she referred to, one shot had been fired. But in Oscar Pistorius' case, Oscar Pistorius, instead of perhaps firing a warning shot, Oscar Pistorius had fired four shots. And basically that's how Judge Togozile Masipa had initially reached her verdict of culpable homicide and not murder in that she said that Oscar Pistorius was negligent when he pulled the trigger four times. Certainly she said also that she needed to take into the needs of society. Strongly what the state had been arguing here, the state going as far as to say that if Judge Togozile Masipa does not met out what they had wanted at uh, the initial time, which was 10 years, that South Africans in general would not have confidence in the justice system. And Gerinel basically cautioned Judge Togozile Masipa to say that she should guard against that. So Judge Masipa saying here today she needed to take into account uh, what society would say how society would feel towards the justice system. And she also needed to take into account Riva Stienkamp's family. She went on uh, while she was handing down a sentence to say that Kim Martin, for example, Riva's cousin, really gave an account of somebody who was very much uh, still at grief over what happened. And the picture that she painted of the Stienkamp families was really something that she needed to take into account. But Natasha, just to chat a bit more uh, right now about how much time Oscar Pistorius might spend at Jose Mampuru Prison here in Pretoria. I'm chatting now uh, to Laurie James. Laurie, as always, thank you very much for your time. She's the legal expert uh, joining SABC News now. Look, um, uh, certainly uh, it looks as if Oscar Pistorius will spend uh, at least uh, 10 months behind bars before he's eligible to apply uh, for uh, parole. Just walk us through that process. Yes, he was found, uh, he was given a five-year sentence, which is 60 months. He has to serve one sixth of that sentence before he is eligible to per, uh, apply to either have the sentence converted to correctional supervision or to be placed on parole, um, which is an effect of 10 months behind bars. That would, of course, be uh, in front of a parole board. Uh, that on its own would take some time. Also looking at issues relating to perhaps good behaviour in prison. Absolutely. They will look at um, has he followed the programmes, has he been a cooperative inmates, um, many things will be factored in to when they, when they do de decide on, on placing him on parole. Another thing that they'll also have to consider is how, you know, it's not won't be major, but they will have to look at the Steenkamp's feelings about him being placed on parole as well, it would be an issue. Relating to the gun charges, is there any surprise there, uh, three years suspended for five? Absolutely not, and this is where the sentence becomes fairly effective. If, the, if he's involved in any future gun crime or crime of this nature, 
the three-year sentence that's suspended for five years will effectively come into effect as well, which would then send him back to prison. Now, Oscar Pastorius has already arrived at Khosi Mampuru. What would be the process uh, now? Uh, certainly, there needs to be a risk assessment that needs to be done. Absolutely. Um, Mr. Pastorius, according to my sources, um, ha handled the sentence well. He's calm. He will now go to uh, the prison. They will have to do the health assessment within the next six hours, as we heard in court. And from there, shortly afterwards, I suspect the prisons will do a risk and needs analysis where they will look at what are the risks specific to him and what are his specific needs with regards to his disability. And then arrangements will be made to put these into place. Laurie James, as always, thank you very much uh, for your time there. And uh, we did manage to speak to uh, the student camps also, uh, Natasha, very briefly as they were leaving court. They have not yet released a statement. We understand that the student camps have signed a deal with one of the international media houses where uh, at least for the next month they will not be speaking. Whether a statement is still coming, that remains to be seen. But very briefly, as they were leaving court, uh, we saw um, uh, a Reva student camps father basically saying that he was glad that this was all over. And, uh, Rivas Jenkins' mom basically saying she is quite exhausted by the past 18 months. Chris Alda, thank you very much. That's Chris Alda Lewis live from the North Gauteng High Court.